Welcome back to Fifth Gear. And if you're just tuning in, I've got one word for you. Punctuality. Yeah, you've just missed me and Hairy Boy here being sick, all in the name of consumer testing. In a bid to find out whether the petrol Mini Cooper or diesel Mini Cooper is best, we have so far considered the passenger's point of view. Both cars ride and handle equally well, i.e. both cars made us equally sick. Now it's time to work out which is the best from the driver's seat. Our assistant Paul Swift is also six times British Auto Test champion. He's laying out an auto test course for us to manoeuvre around against the clock. It's essentially a test of the Mini's key characteristic, nippiness. So, Paul, are you going to show us the course? Absolutely, yeah. Um, this would be our start line here. Right. And we're going this way. This way? Yeah. We're going full 360 degrees around the green cones. We're staying to the left-hand side of that first slalom cone, and you're going to slalom all the way up. Then you're going to handbrake the car 180 degrees and reverse through the blue gate and then reverse through the second blue gate, 180 degrees, and then you're gonna reverse up here, spin the car around, and then again cross the start finish line here. As soon as your front wheels cross there, we stop the watch, but we're given five seconds for every corner you hit. Bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that sounds really easy. I think we'll just uh, let you loose, and it's all or nothing, really, against the clock, and uh, see who's the better out of the two of you. It's all or nothing, you heard. <laughs> so what a loser. <laughs> Just to make sure we knew the route, Paul first demonstrated the course to us. It's around the green cones, through the slalom, handbrake turn and reverse through the blue gates, oh, you blighter. then J turn and stop the clock when you straddle the line. OK, that's 32 seconds. Is that all? That's 32, 32 seconds. seconds. OK, then it's time to choose which car we get to take around the auto test course. And Paul's got two identical keys. How are we going to choose? Well, we could toss for it, or he could hide them behind his back like that, and we could just say right arm or left arm. I want right arm, because I'm right-handed. Right, hang on, let's see. I can't tell, how do you know? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> baby. Shall I go first, then? Yeah, go on. OK, here we are in the petrol Mini Cooper. Slightly faster than the diesel, because it does not 62 in 9.1 seconds. Three, two, one, go! Get it into there and then a bit of handbrake. And go around here like this. <laughs> God, that felt really good. Johnny, how fast was that? Thank you for the splash. Um, that was 34 seconds. That's not bad. Two well seconds off the yeah, yeah. yeah, That's not bad. You know, pickup's really quick and it's it's smooth all the way. You just really get off on it. And it feels nimble. You know, everything feels nimble through the wheel. You really know what's going on. I think you're struggling the diesel. I'm really not looking forward to this because I'm a little bit nervous and my memory's awful. I can't remember how to do the bloody course. Three, two, two one, go! He's up for it. He's got a bit of wheel spin on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I got 34 seconds to beat and I threw myself into the J-turn. That's a straddle. <sighs> what are we talking, big boy? I'll let him tell you. Give me figures. I'll let 30... him tell you. 36. <laughs> You're so slow. Yeah, I mean, immediately from the takeoff, you can tell that, that because it's a diesel, it bogs down and then the turbo spools in. And you've got to really keep it on the turbo, otherwise it'll just... Bleh. See, the petrol didn't feel like that. The petrol felt clean and just, you know, just revved up really nicely and then you could rev out again. It just felt like... It's a great yeah. handling car, though. It's awesome. They yeah, both yeah. look pretty good. Oh, you know, I'd enter an auto test in a diesel. I'd fail. You'd lose. I, I'd lose, yeah. <laughs> so, conclusions, right? Yeah, yeah. You lapped in 36 seconds. I lapped in 34 seconds. Putting aside the fact that I'm more skillful, in this important test of nippiness, Petrol Cooper wins. Yeah. Which means that the only way that that diesel can redeem itself is by being thrifty and thrifty and no, 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 yeah, no. no. I did 18 miles to the gallon. What did you do? On this run today, this larky about, I got 19.2. 
So driving a Cooper like it's supposed to be driven, yeah. you've got one mile to the gallon difference? Yes. It's not good enough, is it? Not when you take into account it's more expensive and it's slower. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. Petrol wins. Petrol does win. Hurrah, Cooper. non D. Go, Cooper. You know, it was about a grand more for the diesel, mm. but if you go to the manufacturer's fuel figures, it'd take you four years, count them, four years to make back that difference between diesel and petrol. Yeah, and that's four years of driving without much fun. Because uh -huh. although it handles just the same as the petrol, yeah, the diesel just doesn't rev as hard, it's just not as sporty. Like, I just don't believe that a Cooper deserves a diesel name, it's not... Funny enough, do you know what, the people in the know also agree with you and they reckon that the residuals on the petrol are going to be better than the diesel and that's quite rare. That is very rare. Yeah.